Welcome to today's video, everyone. I am really glad you're here. Today, we are diving into something truly transformative, the ancient philosophy of Stoicism and how its timeless wisdom can help you develop an unshakable, bulletproof mindset. In this video, we'll explore 15 powerful Stoic principles that can change the way you deal with life's challenges, helping you stay resilient and calm no matter what comes your way. These principles are not just abstract ideas, they are practical tools you can start using right now to enhance your mental strength and emotional well-being. So, stay tuned to uncover these gems of wisdom that can lead you to a more composed and fulfilling life. Before we dive in, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and click the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest content. Let's embark on this journey together and transform our minds with the wisdom of the Stoics. The first principle involves focusing on what you can control. This is a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy and can truly transform how you perceive and respond to life's challenges. Imagine you're stuck in traffic and running late for an important meeting. You might feel your stress levels rising, heart pounding, anxiety setting in, but here's what the Stoics teach us. You can't control the traffic, but you can control your reaction to it. This idea is beautifully encapsulated by the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who said, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it that matter. When you shift your focus to what is within your control, like your thoughts, emotions and actions, you reclaim your power. Instead of getting frustrated, you could use the time to listen to an informative podcast, practice deep breathing, or mentally prepare for the meeting. By accepting that certain things are out of your hands, you free yourself from unnecessary stress and distraction. This simple yet profound mindset shift can help you navigate daily hurdles with greater ease and calm. Remember, the real power lies in controlling your inner world, regardless of the external chaos. This principle, when practiced consistently, can lead to a more peaceful and resilient life. So, the next time you find yourself in a situation that's beyond your control, pause and remind yourself of Epictetus's wisdom. This is just the start. There are many more principles to explore that will further build your bulletproof mindset. The second principle involves embracing the concept of amor fati, which means love of fate. This principle encourages you to not only accept everything that happens in life, but to wholeheartedly embrace it as necessary for your growth. Picture this. You planned a beautiful outdoor picnic with friends, but just as you lay out the blanket, it starts to rain. At first, you might feel disappointed or upset, thinking your perfect day is ruined. But what if, instead, you saw this unexpected rain as a delightful twist? You could embrace the rain, laugh it off and dance in it, turning what seemed like a mishap into a joyful memory. The Stoics believe that every event in life, no matter how challenging or unwelcome, is an essential part of our journey and contributes to our development. By practicing Amor Fati, you train yourself to welcome every experience, good or bad, as an opportunity to learn and grow. This mindset not only reduces resistance to life's ups and downs, but also cultivates a profound sense of gratitude and resilience. Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, a prominent Stoic, emphasized this by saying, a blazing fire makes flame and brightness out of everything that is thrown into it. When you accept and love your fate, you turn every obstacle into fuel for your inner fire, enhancing your strength and wisdom. So, the next time life throws you an unexpected curveball, remember to practice a more fatigue. Embrace it with open arms and see it as a chance to shine even brighter. This practice will further solidify your bulletproof mindset, helping you navigate life's unpredictability with grace and positivity. The third principle involves cultivating self-discipline. Self-discipline is an essential tenet in Stoic philosophy, and it serves as the foundation for personal growth and resilience. Consider the legendary tale of Michael Jordan, widely regarded as one of the greatest basketball players of all time. His success was not merely due to his immense talent, it was his relentless self-discipline that set him apart. Jordan was known for his rigorous training regimen, often practicing hours before his team arrived and staying late to perfect his skills. He famously said, I've always believed that if you put in the work, the results will come. 
This dedication and self-control allowed him to excel and remain focused even in the face of immense pressure and setbacks. Now, let's bring it closer to home. Imagine you have a goal to improve your physical health like running a marathon. Initially, the task may seem daunting. Waking up early for training runs or sticking to a strict diet might feel impossible. However, by exercising self-discipline, you transform this challenge into a structured and manageable journey. Each early morning run becomes a testament to your commitment, and each healthy meal a step towards your goal. The Stoics teach us that by mastering our impulses and maintaining self-discipline, we create a pathway to freedom and inner peace. Epictetus emphasized this by saying, no man is free who is not master of himself. The daily practice of self-discipline strengthens our willpower, making us resilient to distractions and temptations that can derail our progress. So, whether you draw inspiration from a sports legend or your own personal achievements, remember that self-discipline is the cornerstone that supports your bulletproof mindset. Embrace it and watch as it propels you toward your highest potential, enabling you to face life's challenges with unwavering resolve. The fourth principle involves living in accordance with nature. This idea, deeply rooted in Stoic philosophy, suggests that aligning our lives with the natural order of the world leads to harmony and inner peace. Let's bring this down to a modern day scenario. Think about how often we find ourselves stressed and overwhelmed by trying to control every aspect of our busy lives. We plan our days down to the minute, obsess over our to-do lists, and get frustrated when things don't go exactly as planned. Now, imagine taking a step back to observe the natural world around you. Trees don't rush to grow. They follow the seasons. Rivers don't struggle against their course. They flow with it. By living in accordance with nature, we embrace a more fluid and adaptable approach to life. Consider the practice of mindfulness which echoes this stoic principle. When you're mindful, you're fully present in the moment, accepting it as it is without judgment. You're not fighting against the current but flowing with it. For instance, if you've ever tried yoga, you've probably experienced this mindful presence. Each pose encourages you to focus on your breath and your body's natural rhythm. You're not forcing yourself into rigid positions but finding balance in your own unique way. This practice helps you tune into your own nature, recognizing and respecting your limits and strengths. The Stoics believe that by observing and aligning with the natural world, we tap into a deeper sense of purpose and contentment. As Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius put it, nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. When we stop trying to control everything and start living in harmony with the natural flow of life, we reduce stress and build resilience. So, next time you feel overwhelmed by the chaos of modern life, take a moment to breathe and reconnect with the natural world. Remember that just like the trees and the rivers, you too have an innate rhythm. Trust in it, align with it, and you will find a greater sense of peace and balance. This practice will further strengthen your bulletproof mindset, allowing you to navigate life's uncertainties with grace and ease. The fifth principle involves embracing the concept of memento mori, which translates to remember that you will die. I know this might sound a bit grim at first, but bear with me. It's actually a powerful and liberating idea. Let's lighten it up with a relatable scenario. Imagine you are at a party, really enjoying the music and the company of friends, and then you suddenly remember you left the oven on at home. That immediate shift in focus snaps you out of the moment, right? This is similar to Memento Mori, but in a more positive way. By remembering that our time is limited, we gain a special appreciation for the present moment. The Stoics believe that keeping our mortality in mind helps us value our experiences more deeply, encouraging us to live more fully and intentionally. For instance, think of those days when everything seems like a routine or when you're stuck in a monotonous loop. A gentle reminder that life is finite can jolt you out of that funk, making you see everyday moments as precious opportunity. Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius often reflected on his mortality, not to be morbid, but to stay grounded and focused on what truly matters. He once said, you could leave life right now, let that determine what you do and say and think. Next time you're caught in a frustrating situation, like waiting in a long line or dealing with a tough project, remember memento mori. Instead of letting impatience or stress take over, use this principle to shift your mindset. 
appreciate the moment for what it is, and make the most out of it. Life's temporary nature adds a special kind of urgency to savor our interactions, pursue our goals, and cherish the little joys. When you integrate memento mori into your daily routine, you start to see the world through a lens of gratitude and purpose. So, the next time you feel weighed down by life's pressures, remind yourself that our time here is limited. This isn't to make you anxious, but to help you live more fully. This principle encourages you to let go of trivial worries and focus on what brings genuine happiness and meaning. Embrace this stoic wisdom and watch how it enriches your experience, further building your bulletproof mindset. The sixth principle involves cultivating gratitude. In stoicism, gratitude is more than just a fleeting feeling. It's a powerful tool that reshapes our perspective and enhances our resilience. Imagine waking up each day and immediately focusing on what you lack or what went wrong yesterday. It's easy to feel overwhelmed and negative. Now, consider starting your day with a moment of gratitude. Take a minute to appreciate the simple things. The warmth of your bed, the sound of birds outside or the taste of your morning coffee. This shift in focus can set a positive tone for your entire day. The Stoics believe that gratitude helps us recognize the abundance in our lives, no matter how small. Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, in his meditations, often reflected on his blessings and the people who influenced him positively. He famously advised, when you arise in the morning, think of what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, to think, to enjoy, to love. Practicing gratitude doesn't require grand gestures. Here are some quick tips to incorporate it into your daily routine. First, keep a gratitude journal. Each day, write down three things you're thankful for. Over time, this practice helps build a habit of noticing the good in your life. Second, express your appreciation to others. A simple thank you note or a heartfelt compliment goes a long way in nurturing positive relationships. Third, mindfully enjoy your daily ritual. Whether it's savoring a meal, enjoying a walk or spending time with loved ones, be present and grateful for these moments. By practicing gratitude daily, you train your mind to focus on positive aspects of life, reducing feelings of stress and dissatisfaction. This stoic principle encourages us to find joy in the present moment and appreciate the journey, not just the destination. So, the next time you catch yourself dwelling on what's missing or going wrong, pause and remind yourself to practice gratitude. As you embrace this mindset, you'll find that it not only enhances your happiness, but also strengthens your resilience, further building your bulletproof mindset. The seventh principle involves the idea of voluntary discomfort. This might sound a bit strange and even uncomfortable but stick with me, it's actually a powerful way to build resilience. Here's a light-hearted scenario to illustrate this. Imagine deciding to take a cold shower every morning, not because your water heater is broken, but because you want to make yourself tougher. At first, the thought of stepping into that icy water might make you shiver just thinking about it. But the Stoics believe that by intentionally exposing ourselves to discomfort, we strengthen our ability to handle life's inevitable hardships. Let's picture it, you standing there, bracing yourself and maybe even having a little internal pep talk. You turn on the cold water, step in, and instantly feel like you could win an award for your dramatic reaction. But here's where the magic happens. Each time you endure that cold shower, you're training your mind to remain calm and composed in uncomfortable situation. The stoic philosopher Seneca practiced voluntary discomfort by living simply and denying himself luxury, saying, Set aside a certain number of days during which you shall be content with the scantiest and cheapest fare, with coarse and rock dress, saying to yourself the while, is this the condition that I feared? This practice helps us realize that we can endure more than we think, and that our fears of discomfort are often exaggerate. Another humorous example could be wearing your least favorite, most unfashionable outfit for a day. You know, that old sweater with the bright colors that clashes with everything. Not only will you build resilience against worrying about others' opinions, but you might even bring a smile to someone's face with your bold fashion statement. The point is that by facing small controlled discomforts, we build mental toughness and gain confidence in our ability to handle larger challenges. So, next time you have the chance to choose the easy way or the uncomfortable but growth-promoting way, 
opt for the latter, embrace the cold shower, the awkward outfit, or any other small discomfort with a sense of humor and an open mind. This practice of voluntary discomfort will not only fortify your resilience, but also remind you that you have the strength to face life's bigger battles with courage and grace. The eighth principle involves highlighting the importance of wisdom and continuous learning. In Stoicism, the pursuit of wisdom is a lifelong journey that enhances our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. Let's dive into a fun story to illustrate this. Picture the famous scientist Albert Einstein, who is known for his groundbreaking work in physics. Even though he was one of the most brilliant minds, he approached learning with a sense of humility and curiosity. Einstein once said, the more I learn, the more I realize how much I don't know. This humility drove him to continuously seek knowledge, question assumptions, and embrace new ideas, leading to some of the most significant scientific discoveries of our time. Now, how does this relate to us? Imagine you're passionate about cooking but have always stuck to the same few recipes. One day, you decide to take a cooking class to learn different cuisine. At first, you might feel out of your depth, struggling with unfamiliar ingredients and techniques. However, as you persist, you start to master new dishes, expanding your culinary repertoire and surprising yourself with your newfound skill. This journey mirrors the stoic principle of continuous learning. The stoics believe that wisdom is not just an end goal, but a process of constant growth. Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, a devoted student of Stoicism, wrote extensively in his personal journal about his reflections and learning. He emphasized, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this and you will find strength. By embracing the mindset of a lifelong learner, you open yourself to new experiences and perspectives, fostering personal growth and adaptability. Here are some practical tips to cultivate this principle in your daily life. First, read widely and diversely. Books, articles and even podcasts can provide you with different viewpoints and insight. Second, engage in meaningful conversations with others. Everyone has a unique story or experience that can teach you something new. Third, practice self-reflection regularly. Spend time considering what you've learned and how you can apply it in your life. By making continuous learning a habit, you develop a deeper sense of wisdom and resilience, equipping yourself to navigate life's complexities with a well-informed perspective. So, the next time an opportunity to learn something new arises, embrace it with enthusiasm. Whether it's picking up a new hobby, exploring a different culture, or simply reading a thought-provoking book, remember that the pursuit of wisdom is a key component of a bulletproof mindset. By committing to lifelong learning, you not only enhance your knowledge, but also enrich your life with endless possibilities and growth. The ninth principle involves maintaining a calm mind, known as a tarikaxia. This is a state of serene calmness, where you are untroubled by worries or distractions. To explain this, let's use a playful example. Imagine you're in a bustling city park, and there's a squirrel right in front of you, trying to crack open a walnut. People are walking by, kids are playing, and dogs are barking, but this little squirrel is fully concentrated on that walnut. It's not distracted by the noise or activity around it. It's completely absorbed in its task. This is similar to what the Stoics refer to as ataraxia. It's about cultivating an inner peace that remains undisturbed by external chaos. Now, consider your own life. Imagine being at work with deadlines pressing, emails flooding in, and colleagues chatting nearby. It's easy to get overwhelmed. But what if, like the squirrel, you could focus solely on the task at hand, remaining calm and composed, despite the surrounding distractions? The Stoics believe that by training our minds to stay centered, we can navigate life's chaos without losing our peace. One way to practice this is through mindfulness meditation. Find a quiet space, close your eyes and focus on your breath. Notice each inhale and exhale. If your mind wanders, gently bring it back to your breath. This simple exercise helps build the habit of maintaining focus and calmness, even when life gets hectic. Roman Senator Seneca emphasized this principle saying, true happiness is to enjoy the present without anxious dependence upon the future. By practicing ataraxia, you're training yourself to be like the squirrel in the park, undisturbed by the noise and fully engaged in the present moment. 
Another fun way to illustrate this is with a game of Jenga. As you carefully remove each block, your focus is entirely on the tower and not on the chatter around you. This concentration keeps you calm and steady even as the tower wobble. Similarly, in life, maintaining a calm mind helps you stay balanced and composed no matter how shaky things get. By integrating ataraxia into your daily routine, you develop the ability to stay serene amidst the hustle and bustle, further solidifying your bulletproof mindset. So, next time you find yourself in a busy or stressful situation, remember the squirrel and the Jenga game. Practice staying calm and focused, and you'll discover a profound sense of inner peace that helps you handle whatever comes your way. The tenth principle involves value-based living. This means aligning your actions and decisions with your core values, which can lead to a more fulfilling and purpose-driven life. Let's dive into a relatable analogy to illustrate this. Imagine you're navigating a busy supermarket with no shopping list. You end up wandering through each aisle, tossing random items into your cart, and before you know it, your cart is filled with things you don't need. Now, think about how much easier and more efficient that shopping trip would be if you had a clear list of essentials. You'd be focused, intentional, and likely end up with exactly what you need. Living according to your values is like having that shopping list. It provides direction and clarity, helping you make choices that are in line with what's truly important to you. Without it, you may find yourself drifting through life, reacting to whatever comes your way, rather than proactively shaping your path. The Stoics believe that knowing and adhering to your values is crucial for living a meaningful and ethical life. Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius emphasized this by saying, waste no more time arguing about what a good man should be. This means that instead of getting caught up in societal expectations or superficial desires, focus on living authentically according to your value. Here's a fun analogy. Imagine you're the captain of a ship and your values are the stars you navigate by. Without these guiding stars you'd be lost at sea, unsure of which direction to take. But with them, you have a clear course, and even when storms hit or the waters get choppy, you can stay true to your path. This doesn't mean life will always be smooth sailing, but it does mean you'll have a sense of purpose and direction, which can provide comfort and strength during challenging time. To apply this principle in your daily life, start by identifying your core values. These could be things like honesty, compassion, family, or personal growth. Write them down and use them as a guide when making decision. For example, if one of your values is health, you'll be more mindful of your dietary choices and exercise routine. If you value relationships, you'll prioritize spending quality time with loved ones. By consistently aligning your actions with your values, you build a sense of integrity and purpose, which strengthens your resilience and inner peace. So, the next time you find yourself faced with a difficult decision or feeling uncertain about your direction, pause and check in with your value. Let them be your guiding stars, helping you navigate through life's complexities with confidence and clarity. This practice of value-based living not only enhances your sense of fulfillment, but also further solidifies your bulletproof mindset, enabling you to lead a life that is true to who you are at your core. The 11th principle involve understanding the significance of community and friendship in Stoicism. Think about your favorite team sport, whether it's soccer, basketball, or even a fun game of tag. The beauty of these games lies not just in individual talent, but in the collective effort, the camaraderie, and the sense of belonging they foster. This is reminiscent of the Stoic belief in the importance of community and friendship. The Stoics viewed humans as inherently social beings. They saw relationships as vital to our growth and well-being. Imagine a gardener tending to a variety of plant. Each plant, though unique, contributes to the overall beauty and health of the garden. Similarly, our friendships and community ties enrich our lives, providing support, joy, and opportunities for growth. Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher, often reflected on the importance of community saying, we are made for cooperation, like feet, like hands, like eyelids, like the rows of the upper and lower teeth. This highlights how we flourish through mutual support and collaboration. Picture a neighborhood barbecue. Everyone brings something to the table, a dish, a drink, a smile. 
the event becomes a tapestry of shared experiences, laughter, and connection. This gathering embodies the essence of stoic community, where each individual's contribution is valued and the collective experience is greater than the sum of its parts. In practical terms, fostering strong relationships requires effort and intention. Here are some tips to strengthen your community ties. First, show genuine interest in others. Listen actively, offer help when needed, and celebrate their joys and successes. Second, invest time in nurturing these connections. Just like a plant beads water and sunlight, relationships thrive on regular attention and care. Third, practice empathy and kindness. Understand that everyone faces their own battles and showing compassion can strengthen the bond you share. By building and maintaining strong relationships, you not only enhance your own resilience, but also create a support network that uplifts everyone involved. This principle encourages us to see ourselves as part of a larger whole, where our interactions and relationships contribute to the well-being of the community. So, the next time you find yourself caught up in the hustle and bustle of life, take a moment to appreciate the people around you, reach out to a friend, join a community group, or simply share a kind word with a neighbor. These connections are the threads that weave together the fabric of our lives, making us stronger, happier, and more resilient. Embracing the significance of community and friendship will further solidify your bulletproof mindset, ensuring you have a strong support system to lean on through life's ups and downs. The 12th principle involves understanding the concept of sympathia, which emphasizes cosmic interconnectedness. Imagine you're at a beach, collecting seashells. Each shell is unique in its shape, size and color, yet they all belong to the same vast ocean ecosystem. This simple act of gathering seashells beautifully illustrates sympathia, the idea that everything in the universe is interconnected and part of a greater whole. The Stoics believed that recognizing this interconnectedness helps us see our place in the world more clearly, fostering a sense of unity and purpose. Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius encapsulated this principle by saying, the universe is change, our life is what our thoughts make it. Now, let's delve into an entertaining analogy. Picture a massive, intricate spider web stretching across a lush garden. Each thread in this web represents a person, event, or element of the universe. When a tiny breeze moves one part of the web, the entire structure responds, demonstrating how interconnected everything truly is. Similarly, in our lives, our actions, thoughts, and feelings are intertwined with those of others of others and the broader world. Imagine you're having a bad day and you snap at your barista. That small act can ripple out, affecting their mood and interactions with others. Conversely, a kind word or gesture can spread positive energy, creating a cascade of goodwill. To further illustrate sympathia, think about a symphony orchestra. Each musician plays a different instrument, yet they all contribute to a harmonious performance. If one musician plays out of sync, it affects the entire symphony. This teaches us that our individual actions have a broader impact on the world around us. By embracing this principle, we become more mindful of how we interact with others and the environment, fostering a sense of compassion and responsibility. Here are some practical ways to cultivate sympathy in your daily life. First, Practice empathy by putting yourself in others' shoes. Understand their perspectives and experiences, recognizing that we're all part of the same human family. Second, engage in acts of kindness, no matter how small, knowing that these positive actions contribute to the greater good. Third, take time to appreciate nature and the universe. Whether it's stargazing, hiking, or simply observing the changing seasons, these moments of connection remind us of our place in the cosmos, by embracing sympathy, you develop a deeper sense of interconnectedness and purpose, enhancing your resilience and inner peace. This principle encourages us to view ourselves as integral parts of a larger whole, fostering a mindset of unity and collaboration. So, the next time you find yourself feeling isolated or disconnected, remember the intricate spider web, the harmonious symphony, and the vast ocean of seashells. Embrace your role in the cosmic tapestry and recognize that we are all interconnected, working together to create a more harmonious and resilient world.
This practice will further solidify your bulletproof mindset, helping you navigate life's complexities with a sense of unity and purpose. The 13th principle involves the practice of journaling and reflection. This stoic habit is not only a tool for self-awareness, but also a powerful way to track your growth and gain clarity on your thoughts and actions. Let's imagine our good friend, a detective, trying to solve a mystery. Each day, they jot down their observations, clues, and theories in a notebook. This daily practice helps them piece together the bigger picture, understand patterns, and ultimately solve the case. Similarly, when you make journaling a habit, you become the detective of your own life, uncovering insights that lead to personal growth and resilience. The Stoic philosopher Seneca often emphasized the importance of this practice, advising to call yourself to account by reflecting on your actions and thoughts. To get started with journaling, think of it as a fun and personal ritual. Here are some practical tips to make it engaging. First, choose a journal that you love. It could be a beautifully bound notebook, a sleek digital app, or even a simple notepad. The key is to pick something that feels inviting and motivates you to write. Second, set a consistent time for journaling. Morning and evening are great options. In the morning, you can set intentions for the day, and in the evening, you can reflect on your experience. It. Imagine a cozy corner with your favorite beverage, where you can unwind and pour your thoughts onto paper. Next, start with prompts if you're unsure what to write about. Questions like, what am I grateful for today? What challenges did I face? And how did I respond to them? Can help guide your reflections. For instance, imagine you're writing about a stressful meeting at work. By breaking it down, you might discover that your anxiety was more about wanting to impress your boss than the actual task at hand. This awareness can help you approach similar situations with more confidence in the future. Another engaging tip is to include doodles, sketches, or mind maps in your journal. If you're visually inclined, this can make the process more enjoyable and help you express your thoughts creatively. Picture yourself illustrating a small victory like completing a challenging project or capturing a beautiful moment from your day with a quick sketch. Don't forget to celebrate your progress. Periodically review your journal entries to see how far you've come. This not only boosts your confidence, but also reinforces the positive changes you're making. Roman Emperor Marcus Aurelius, known for his reflective writings in meditation, often revisited his thoughts to gain deeper insights and maintain his stoic principles. He believed that self-examination is crucial for personal growth. By integrating journaling and reflection into your daily routine, you'll cultivate a deeper understanding of yourself, your emotions, and your action. This stoic practice encourages mindfulness, self-discipline, and continuous improvement, all essential components of a bulletproof mindset. So, grab your favorite journal, find a cozy spot, and start writing. Embrace this reflective journey and watch how it enhances your resilience and inner peace. This practice will further solidify your bulletproof mindset, helping you navigate life's challenges with clarity and purpose. The 14th principle involves mindful speech and action. Imagine this scenario, you're at a family dinner and your aunt proudly presents her latest culinary creation, a dish that looks like it belongs in a science experiment rather than on a dinner table. You blurt out, this looks interesting. Immediately, you see her face fall and you realize your words have unintentionally hurt her feelings. This is a classic example of how speaking without mindfulness can lead to unnecessary conflict. In Stoicism, being mindful of our speech and actions is crucial for maintaining harmony and integrity. The Stoic philosopher Epictetus emphasized the importance of this principle by advising, keep silent for most of the time, and speak only when you must, and then briefly. This doesn't mean we should become months of silence, but rather, that we should speak with intention, kindness, and consideration, take a more thoughtful approach. Instead of making a quick judgment you could say, you always surprise us with your creativity in cooking. This way, you acknowledge her effort without causing hurt. Now, let's think about action. Picture this. You're at the gym, and someone forgets to wipe down the equipment after using it. Your initial reaction might be to shoot them an annoyed glare, or make a snarky comment. But, mindful action encourages us to pause and act with understanding. Perhaps they genuinely forgot, or are new to the gym etiquette. 
Instead of reacting impulsively, you could discreetly offer a reminder or simply lead by example. To practice mindful speech and action in everyday life, start by pausing before you speak or act. This brief moment of reflection can help you consider the impact of your words and actions on others. Here are some tips. First, practice active listening. When engaging in conversation, focus fully on the other person without planning your response while they're speaking. This shows respect and helps you respond more thoughtfully. Second, choose your words carefully. Aim to communicate with clarity and kindness, avoiding unnecessary criticism or negativity. If you need to give feedback, frame it constructively. For example, instead of saying, you never do this right, try, I think we could improve this by doing it this way. In terms of actions, be mindful of how your behavior affects others. Small gestures of kindness, like holding the door open or offering a genuine compliment, can make a big difference. When facing potential conflicts, strive to respond calmly and considerately, seeking resolution rather than escalation. By practicing mindful speech and action, you not only enhance your relationships, but also build a reputation of reliability and thoughtfulness. This principle encourages us to be deliberate and compassionate in our interactions, promoting a sense of peace and mutual respect. So, the next time you find yourself in a situation where a careless word or impulsive action could lead to misunderstanding or conflict, take a moment to pause and reflect. Choose your words and actions mindfully, and you'll find that this approach not only prevents unnecessary strife, but also strengthens your resilience and inner harmony. This practice will further solidify your bulletproof mindset, helping you navigate life's social complexities with wisdom and grace. The 15th principle involves embracing and practicing courage and facing our fears. Let's dive into an inspiring story. To illustrate this powerful principle, picture the legendary tale of Sir Ernest Shackleton and his crew during their ill-fated Antarctic expedition in the early 1900s. Their ship, the Endurance, was trapped and eventually crushed by the pack ice leaving them stranded in the harshest environment on Earth. Despite facing seemingly insurmountable odds, Shackleton exhibited remarkable courage and leadership, guiding his men through unimaginable hardships. His unwavering resolve and bravering resolve and bravery became a beacon of hope for his crew. Against all odds, they endured freezing temperatures, treacherous seas and severe hunger. Shackleton's courage in the face of fear and adversity not only ensured their survival, but also became a legendary example of human resilience and determination. In Stoic philosophy, courage is seen as an essential virtue, enabling us to confront our fears and challenges head on. The Stoic philosopher Seneca once said, he who is brave is free, highlighting the idea that true freedom comes from overcoming our fears through courage. Now, let's bring this closer to home with a relatable scenario. Imagine you're preparing for a public speaking event, but the thought of standing in front of a crowd makes you anxious. Your palms sweat, your heart races, and you start doubting your abilities. But practicing courage means acknowledging that fear and moving forward anyway. You prepare thoroughly, practice your speech, and take those first steps onto the stage. As you speak, you realize that each word spoken is a triumph over your fear. By facing your anxiety, you gain confidence and strength, not only in public speaking but in other areas of your life as well. Here are some practical tips to cultivate courage in your daily life. First, start small. Identify minor fears or challenges and tackle them gradually. This could be as simple as striking up a conversation with a stranger or trying a new activity. Second, visualize success. Imagine yourself overcoming the fear and enjoying the sense of accomplishment that follows. Visualization can help reduce anxiety and build confidence. Third, seek support. Share your fears with trusted friends or mentors who can offer encouragement and advice. Remember, courage is not the absence of fear, but the willingness to face it despite the fear. By consistently practicing courage, you build a resilient mindset capable of handling life's uncertainties with grace and determination. So, the next time you encounter a fear or challenge, remember the story of Shackleton and his crew. Let their example inspire you to summon your inner courage and take bold steps forward. Embrace the stoic wisdom that courage is a crucial component of a bulletproof mindset. 
enabling you to rise above your fears and achieve your greatest potential. This practice will further solidify your resilience, helping you navigate life's challenges with unwavering strength and confidence and summary the C. 15 Stoic Principles provide a comprehensive guide to developing a bulletproof mindset. First, by focusing on what we can control, we reclaim our power. Second, embracing Amor Fati teaches us to love our fate and see every challenge as an opportunity for growth. Third, cultivating self-discipline helps us achieve our goals and maintain inner peace. Fourth, living in accordance with nature aligns us with the nature aligns us with the natural order, reducing stress. Fifth, remembering memento mori deepens our appreciation for the present moment. Sixth, practicing gratitude shifts our focus to the abundance in our lives. Seventh, voluntary discomfort trains our resilience. Eighth, continuous learning fosters wisdom and adaptability. Ninth, achieving ataraxia helps us maintain a calm mind amidst chaos. Tenth, value-based living gives us direction and purpose. Eleventh, community and friendship remind us that we are stronger together. Wealth, sympathia helps us recognize our cosmic interconnectedness. Thirteenth, journaling and reflection enhance self-awareness. Fourteenth, mindful speech and action promote harmony and respect. Finally, fifteenth, embracing courage allows us to face our fears and grow stronger. By integrating these principles into your daily life, you can cultivate a mindset that is truly unshakable. As we conclude this journey together, I encourage you to start applying these powerful stoic principles today, whether it's practicing gratitude facing a fear, or living in alignment with your values, each step you take brings you closer to a resilient and fulfilling life. Remember, the wisdom of the Stoics isn't just ancient philosophy, it's a practical toolkit for modern living. So, take a deep breath, embrace these teachings, and watch as your bulletproof mindset transforms your world. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. Let's continue exploring the wisdom of the Stoics together and embark on this transformative journey. Thank you for watching and here's to your unshakable bulletproof mindset.